Hey everybody, got something cool from my buddy Asger on mreinfo.com, or at least he facilitated getting this. This is a Croatian 24 hour ration. And his buddy was also cool enough to send some patches along. So it looks like we got uh, like the Tiger Brigade. So these are really cool. Appreciate this very much. It is just a relatively thick plastic bag covering a cardboard bag. And it is kind of hard to see the writing on there. Nothing on the back except some dog hair. You can see right here, it does have a pretty substantial heat seal. And I think on this side there is like some production information, but I don't understand what that is. But this is a, it's a Type 2. Uh, the one that I have seen is a Type 3, so there might be a few uh, things that are different in this one. Let's grab the knife and check out what's inside. I know there's going to be an inner cardboard box. Voila. And it too is going to have some information on there. And you can see this is in Croatian. Then we've got some English, and then it looks like some French down here on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. I'm looking in a little itty-bitty viewfinder right there. So, all right. The date on this thing, you can see that. See, it's fresh. It doesn't expire till 2017, but most of the things inside of here will be bulletproof for, well, beyond then. This box is just simply held together with some uh, plastic packaging tape. See, it's recyclable. And there's nothing else on the box. So let's grab our little knife right here. Cut that plastic. And look at the treasures that we have inside. dun da da dun da da dun da da dun All right, this is like an instant orange sports drink kind of thing. And there are two of those. There's something in here that's a little sticky. I don't know what that is. It could be the, the honey. Now, these are going to be interesting. These are like pepper crackers. I couldn't really get a good understanding of what they are. So I think they just might be crackers with some uh, pepper in them, I'm guessing. You get the Kex. There's three packages of these, one for each one of your meals. So, three packages of Kex. Ah, a dessert chocolate bar, 50 grams. I'm quite sure that this is going to be a dark chocolate. Is there another one of these? Yes, there is. It's over here. These are uh, hand towelettes, moist towelettes. Now, I think these are scented, too. I think they're orange scented. I'm not too sure. But either way, they are three moist towelettes, one for each meal. I have a small tin of tuna to go with our kex. And tuna is bulletproof. If you look at that date on there, that is till 2019. Yeah, I think the honey did come apart. 
have a small can of luncheon meat. Looks like a spam product. Wrinkles. Love it. And I'm trying to see. It says 230 calories, but I'm, I don't know how many servings are in this. Probably several, because this is a rather large thing of spam. In the Govete Gulas. I believe this is the. Uh, Gotta be like beans and meat and maybe some bacon and then we got a cow on there so perhaps some beef but it's 400 grams of that so nice and hearty ah the honey I don't see any I don't see any leaks in the mid so I think it's okay unless it's our jam uh, I don't know two things of honey. I thought I thought the last one I saw had uh, one honey and one jam. These are like coffee flavored sweets or coffee bonbons. I've been over here hiding the whole time. This is a contents sheet with the expiration date on the bottom and. Everything is in English. Thank gosh, I kind of prepared for this in advance, and I might not quite need that. This is a black tea. I think it's lemon flavored. Don't hold me to that, but I think this is lemon flavored black tea. Ananas. I am believing that these are uh, fruit, possibly bananas. Let me confirm that real quick. Nope, it's pineapple. Pineapple rings. And this is uh, papaya. So it looks like we've got plenty of veggies. And who? what do we have here? I had to break this out because the other one is a type 3 that I'm looking at. And this is a packet of chicken soup. So there we go. That's everything that you get in a Croatian 24-hour ration. Start getting stuff prepared. Okay, got to get on point with my translations. All right, this is not beans or anything. This is uh, beef goulash. And I don't know why I thought this was tuna. Maybe because that little picture on there kind of reminded me. But uh, it's a can of liver. So we will see how this liver is. And this is a spam product, but it is like a made from beef as opposed to pork and chicken. And what fun would it be if we used a Yugoslavian mess kit? Now, I got this confirmed. The Croatians also use this same exact mess kit. And this one was actually issued. If you could look on there, Mr. Cole, Cole, Cola, <laughs> you've made it to the big time. You're on YouTube, my friend. And whenever I saw these, I thought they were like large. They're actually a lot smaller. And this lid is on there very very compact but here we've got a bowl have a small cup canteen to hold your water and your little cooking pot and then with this you pull out your spoon and this is the real deal stuff it's actually well it's kind of hard to see on there but it's got the the name so you have a nice size spoon, a three-time fork, and this is the first time I've seen a knife. The knife actually has a serrated cutting edge. This thing works too, because I went upstairs and washed this stuff. Then you have a, a bottle opener on this side and a can opener on that side. Okay, everybody. 
we are going to start off with breakfast. We're going to do our liver. We're going to use both of the honeys, our bag of kecks or crackers. And just so we can be kind of rounded, we're going to do our papaya, our orange instant drink, uh, the moist towelette. And these aren't just going to be exclusively for, for breakfast, but for, uh, for the remainder of the day, those coffee sweets or coffee bonbons. Okay, let's do the instant orange drink. This calls for 2 DL or 200 ml of water, which is about 7 ounces of water. This has a very uh, tang reminiscent smell. And 200 ml is not a whole ton. We'll have to keep that in mind. And we'll give this a stir. Okay, now I got two vessels I'm going to pour this. I just got a glass and I've got the little cup from that mess kit. So, uh, yeah, Lord willing, I won't spill this everywhere. All right, that is adequate. And then for the glass. It's pretty good to me. Okay, time for breakfast. I've already got my drinks all set up. My knife, fork, and spoon, and my little moist towelette is standing by. Now the honey... I'm going to have one room temperature, and I dunked this one in some hot water, and you can definitely tell that is what I did because it deformed the bottom. So some nice warm honey. Well, it's not really getting super warm anymore. So let me uh, open these right now. So I know. Highland. What in the world is going on? These are 20 gram honey packets. See, and this is part of the problem. You guys are always, cut your nails, cut your nails. Well, I can't open this stuff because I don't have any fingernails. That is nice, clarified honey. And we'll look at the honey that we didn't put in any water. Pretty much identical. Except for now we have one that's kind of got a melted bottom okay now the breakfast kecks or crackers I haven't seen what these look like I, there's only like one review on YouTube and it does not show any of the content so as far as I know this is a first look Wow. They smell good. Comes in a little cardboard box kind of thing. Wow, that is pretty snazzy. I think the I think the Taiwanese emergency ration also came in a cardboard, but I can't remember. It's it's been a while. Then the uh, kava bon or the coffee bonbons. And I imagine these are going to be pretty much along the lines as like coffees or those Indonesian ones that I can purchase around my house. We'll set those right here and we'll open one of those in a second. And then our bag of papaya. Always got to have some fruit in the morning. Help keep a balanced diet. And this is probably that dehydrated, possibly sugared fruit. And that's kind of what it kind of what it looks like. Mm. Pretty much the same looking kind of stuff that you would get like in a trail mix right here in the States from uh, one of your commercial sources. And the last thing is the liver. Now, 
I did a review recently, and I believe it was the, the old Swedish one, and they were like, yeah, we eat liver in the morning. I was like, liver in the morning? Well, I'm not a super liver fan to start with. I'm assuming this is what would happen. So, liver in the morning. Take the mess kit knife. It's pretty soft, pretty creamy. And I'm going to grab one of these kecks. And I'm going to try this just on its own, just real fast. These are actually pretty good. They're very light, very airy. They have a nice crunch and crack to them, but they don't break your teeth like uh, the Panzer Waffles or Tank Treads for the special crackers. And we'll try it with a little bit of liver spread. Some people were telling me with their liver that they would add onion or butter. But unfortunately for these ration reviews, you really can only put what's inside of the ration to, to make it authentic, I would guess. I don't know, some of you thought I was crazy for heating up the liver, but I really think that might have some merit. Because this just, it tastes similar, but it's got that lingering aftertaste of liver that we all know so well. Try a little bit of our orange drink to help cleanse that palate, because we really need some help right now. Wow, this almost tastes carbonated. It's got a nice little kick. I would imagine if you didn't want it to be so concentrated, you could add a little more water stretched out to maybe 250 mil or 2.5 DL. Wow, that really gives, uh, lets you know what time it is. Like I said with these knives, you can't just lick these knives clean or whatever because it's got this serrated edge. It will, uh, slice and dice you up if you're not paying attention. Try dipping some in the honey. I'm quite sure the other honey has cooled down to room temperature. But the kecks in honey were mid. And this stuff is nice and sweet too. Now this is a little more a little more viscous than the other one. I guess it still has a little bit of that heat transfer still in there. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that honey just adds that sweetness to help wake you up in the morning, and I'm quite sure this papaya will do the same. It's crystallized, and it looks like it has some uh, sweetener in it already. And that's exactly what it is. It tastes just like the stuff that you would get in trail mix or even some grocery stores now have these just on themselves. They have pineapple and they have, you know, other types, kiwis that are sugared fruit. It's definitely not at all like that Polish ration. And I think maybe even the Lithuanian one. I can't remember. It's been a long time that they do have dehydrated fruit. But it is raw, original stuff that's just been dehydrated. Ah, before I take this, I am actually going to use the little cup in the mess kit. And I'm probably the only person in history that's ever done this with one of these. Because I'm quite sure everybody who's issued this is like, <laughs> We don't drink out of them. <sighs> but I can say that I did. Now onto these coffee bonbons. Kind of similar. They're not as dark as the coffees or the Indonesian brain that I can get. But let's see how they taste in comparison. It's very mild. 
So if you didn't like coffee, I don't even really know if you could, if you would really even know that it's there. It kind of tastes kind of like a toffee, sort of, with maybe just the slightest hint of a, of a coffee type flavor. Well, everybody, this was breakfast. Let's break into lunch.